at Saints Peter and Paul, our neighbor parish, they had a church. Uh, it's been since been knocked down, um, but it was a uh, um, a church in, in the round. You remember, not the geodesic one, but the built in the 60s, but the one built in 1980, and uh, as more of a fan shaped. And this church um, at the altar area, it had a statue of uh, Mary on one side. It was Our Lady of Fatima, she's dressed in white and blue, and she's on a puffy marshmallow cloud. Um, and so that was on one side of the altar area. And the other side was the tabernacle. The tabernacle is a, the gold uh, box containing the Blessed Sacrament. Uh, we have the ours tabernacle in the chapel, but um, in this church it was on the side in gold. It was lit. It had a, a starburst behind it, a sunburst, so it was, uh, it was really brilliant in its um, right there. And as a place for prayer and place for communion to the sick. Um, and so, in a way, the, the mirror images of Mary in the tabernacle, that Mary was actually the first tabernacle. She carried in her womb uh, the, the blessed sacrament, the Savior of the world. Between the two, of course, were the ambo and the altar, the ambo where the word of God was proclaimed. Just as we heard today from Numbers, the blessings, um, go and bless my people, the Lord told Moses to tell Aaron and the others. And in Galatians, that God sent his son, born of a woman. And in the Gospel of Luke, the shepherds proclaiming the glory of God as the angels had told them and what they had seen. So all that good news and more proclaimed from the altar, the word of God proclaimed into the world. And of course, the altar. The altar there that the body and blood of the bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ by the power of the Spirit. The Christ Jesus is offering himself to God the Father, and we join Christ in his offering to the Father. And the real presence of the Lord renews our communion with God, who is Father and Son and Spirit, it renews our communion with one another, the people of God. So this this Salvation offered through the word and sacrament is flanked, though, um, by Mary in the tabernacle. Mary, by saying yes to the angel, made this all possible. Mary had to say, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word for this to take place. Mary put her life and her will in the care of God. And in doing so, her body became a tabernacle. It bore the word made flesh into the world that continues to be born into the world. The church is no longer there. It's been replaced. Um, but the church is, of course, not the building. The church is a people. And may we like Mary, trust the love of God, and make, like we and like Mary, this day and every day of this new year, say, may it be done to me according to your word.